Okay, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about printing, um, some of the things that you can do with the new printing system, um, some of the basic troubleshooting you can do, and how to get your ID registered to print off the printer for the first time. So the first one we're talking about is this. In ClassLink, you're going to have a new icon called BSD111 Uniflow Print. Uh, everybody should have this, so click on that. It's going to come up and it's going to ask you to log in. It says continue with BSD 111 0365. The 0365 is Office 365. It's your email address. So we're going to click on that. And it may ask for your password. It may not. Okay, in my case, it did not. So on the first uh, page, on the dashboard page, we're going to look at it for a second here. There's two really main things. Most of this isn't going to apply to you. Two main things you're going to want to look at here. The first is your PIN. And we're going to need this pin in a minute when we go to the printer to register our ID. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to do show pin. And I'm going to jot that down. Um, so write that pin down. Yours will be different. Don't use mine. So okay. Um, the other thing we're going to look at down here is my queue. So I've got one job in my, in my print queue. So if I were to go to the printer now, I would have one job showing to print. Um, in a minute I'm going to show you how to print directly from here. Um, I shall do that now. So over here where it says start printing. Right here it says drag files or browse. If I have it open I can drag it or I can just click browse and it's going to come up and I'm going to go I have a file on my desktop I'm going to print. That one. That's a PDF. You can do Word, you can do Excel, you can do PowerPoint. I'm going to do a PDF. It says sending the uploaded file and it says file sent to mobile print device. Come back over here to my dashboard and if it doesn't show Oh, it does show. So now I have two jobs. Sometimes if it doesn't show, you have to come up here and refresh your page. But it did show. So I've got Authenticator set up, and I've got this, this Johnson Controls document in my print queue. Um, other things you can look for. This is, this is stuff that you would do normally. Um, we'll talk in a minute about some troubleshooting stuff. Okay, so some of the things to look at um, on your computer before we head over to the printer. Um, if you're going to print, you know, the way you've been printing for 30 years, I'm going to, down here there's a new icon. It says um, Uniflow Smart Client, and hopefully it says connected like mine does. If you don't see it here, hit the arrow, and it should be up here somewhere. So I'm going to do about, and a couple things you want to look at. First, you want to see management server bsd111.us uniflow online. You, this wants to be here. The location, you want it to say district office. In monitored printers, you want it to say secure print. Um, if, none, if those are not showing, try rebooting. If it still doesn't show, put in a ticket. And I'm going to say that a lot here, put in a ticket. Because there are going to be some things that you can't do anything with and we're going to have to come look at. For example, if you don't have this icon, you're going to have to put in a ticket so that we can we can install it or give you directions on how to install it. Um, but you want to make sure that it says management server, Uniflow Online. You want to make sure it says district office, and you want to make sure it says secure print. So that's you know the thing to check on your computer. And like I said, if it doesn't show those things, try rebooting and see if it shows up after that. Um, otherwise, put in a ticket. So now we're going to go to the printer and talk about registering your ID for the first time. If you don't have the Uniflow client installed on your computer, like you come down here and it's not there. There it is. It's not there. You can install it yourself through Software Center. You can click on, either click on Start and it'll be over here somewhere, like here it is on this one right here. Or if you click on Search and type in Software Center and open the Software Center app. It should be the first one on the list. It'll say new most likely. If you click on it and then click install, you will, and it'll, be, it'll say installing. Once it's done, you will probably have to restart your computer to get it to show. But once it's done installing, restart the computer and that should install it for you. Okay, we're here at the printer. Um, we're going to talk now about how to get your ID registered the first time. This is a one-time process. 
Um, you do not need to do this every time. So just do this the one time and then you're done. Um, so I've got my ID here and I'm going to swipe my ID. It comes up and it says your ID card is unknown. Please identify yourself with your identification code. And that is the, the pin number that I pulled off of the website earlier. So I'm going to put that number in and hit log in. It says trying to log in. Now this is the screen that's familiar and this should say your name up here. Hopefully you use the right ID. If I hit secure print, there's my two jobs that I asked to, uh, that I had in my print queue from the website earlier. So I'm going to hit this one. I'm going to do print and delete. So you printed. I'm going to log out just to show you that you don't need to do that pin code every time. And I'm going to use my, just use my ID. Secure print, and there you go. So that's how you register your ID for the first time. And then after that, you don't have to do it again. Something I forgot to mention. Um, if for whatever reason you're like me and you've lost your ID for the 17th time this year, um, you can just use that PIN number. So that number that you got off the website, if you don't have your ID, I can just do PIN code and put in that number and log in. And now you're back, you're at the same screen. So I can come over here now. I can do my another print job. So if you don't have your ID on you for some reason, you can use that pin code just to print directly.